Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you two DIY gift ideas for biology lovers and for people that just love geeky things. They are super cute and easy to make and you can also personalize them however you like. Let's start with the petri dish soaps that can represent any bacteria you want. You will need white and transparent glycerin soap, some bowls to microwave it, a round mold, or if you want to level up your petri dish soap game, you can actually use real petri dishes that you can buy on Amazon or eBay. Then you're also going to need soap colorants, soap fragrance of your choice, rubbing alcohol to remove any bubbles, and a pipette for the details. First, you want to create the cultivation media for the bacteria. Begin by melting some transparent glycerin soap in the microwave for a few seconds. Once everything is completely melted, add a little bit of soap fragrance or essential oil to the soap and mix it very well. Now, depending on the medium you want to create, add a few drops of soap colorant you need to the mixture. I was going for the Hecton and XLD agar, that's why I created a light green and red colored soap mixture. From here, just pour the soap into the molds. Make sure the soap is free from any dust or fluff, spray some rubbing alcohol on top to get rid of any bubbles, and then just let everything harden completely. Once fully hardened, remove the soap from the mold and turn it the other way around. Now to create the growing bacteria for our medium, melt some white glycerin soap. And depending on the colony you want to create, add colorant to the white soap. Now fill the pipette with soap and begin drawing small lines across one of the sides of the soap by slightly pressing the pipette to release the soap. In microbiology, isolating a pure strain of bacteria is called streaking and we kinda want to emulate the movement. You can do it like I do here or back and forth in a zigzag motion to make it look even more realistic. Then turn the soap and draw more lines the same way crossing the first section of lines. And by the way, I have one tip how to clean the pipette after the soap has cooled down. Boil some water and use the hot water, not boiling water, to clean the pipette. Just press the top a few times to fill it with water and to release it and after a few seconds the glass should be clean again. Next, this is optional, but now you can use a toothpick to score a few lines into the soap to create the movement of the streaking we just did and then add a few dots on top using a toothpick. The final section should have less soap on it as this is the area where it should have the least amount of growth. And this is how my soap turned out. Of course you can use any color combination you like. It doesn't have to look super realistic after all. The Petri dish version is especially great because it has already a packaging so it's ready to be gifted. And you can easily remove it from the dish as well. The next idea is a serotonin molecule necklace that will remind yourself to be happy. All you need is glass sticks and plastic round beads. You can use any color you like. Silver wire, but make sure it's durable or it can break. And you're also going to need calots or clamshells, jump rings, clasps and pliers. And of course, a necklace or plain chain if you want to create the length you want. Begin by threading one of the clamshell beads onto the wire. Then thread 9 glass sticks and finalize the string with another clamshell. This type of bead is great as it will cover the wire but also create the necessary parts of the molecule. Now take the empty string and pull it through the first glass stick to secure the clamshell. Next thread 2 more glass sticks onto the string you just pulled through. And then move 4 glass sticks to the beginning that are on the lower part of the wire. This is how it looks so far. 2 bits on top and 4 on the bottom. And now we want to connect them. Pull the lower wire to the top to create a circle and then thread the upper wire through this bead. This way you should get a hexagon shape. To create the next loop, start threading one more glass stick and one round bead to the lower wire. And then add two more glass sticks afterwards. Bend the end as we just did with the first hexagon but this time pull the wire through with the third from the last bead in the row. Now repeat this with the last two glass sticks and bend the end part to create the right shape. And then cut off some excess wire and pull both sides through the clamshell bead. Carefully push some of the wire to the clamshell and cut off the rest. Now with your pliers push the sides together to close it. And then create a loop with the end piece of the bead. This is how it looks so far. 
Decide how long the necklace should be by measuring it around your neck. From here, just add the jump rings to the ends of the chain or necklace and secure them to the clamshell loops you just created. Now cut the chain in half and start adding a jump ring and a clasp to one end and two jump rings in two different sizes to the other side. This is going to be the closure of the necklace. By the way, you don't have to create this type of necklace. You can just use the molecule and add it as a charm to the necklace. You can basically create any molecule you want with these beads. And you're done! I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already to see more fun and easy DIYs in the future. Thank you for watching everyone, have a wonderful day and see you next week!